Hey guys, Sean here. So I wanted to talk about one of my more interesting experiences I had back in the days when I used to do the Ouija board with a couple of my friends. So here's, here's what happened. Now, this would have been about a year and a half after we first started messing around with this stuff. Okay. We were on my friend's porch, okay? So I was a year out of college. My friend was still in college. It was summer. And then then um, his brother was uh, just finished high school. Okay? So we're young, we're young adults, three of us. And we used to mess with the Ouija board, try to connect with spirits and ghosts and stuff and do experiments and We've had some interesting experiences. Um, there's going to be those uh, of you out there who are going to feel that messing with the Ouija board is a bad idea. And sometimes it is. The the the, the younger brother, he, he had a lot of negativity and anger issues. He had some anger issues. And when we did the Ouija board and connected with these other beings, he sometimes would have some more um, negativity uh, afterwards because he would have a, like this um, this like connection to some of the more negative influences. But his brother and myself were more positively oriented, and it it, it was more fun and interesting for us. You see, if you have enough excitement and joy and love in your energy field, you are essentially invisible to those negative entities. And we can get into the details of that, of course, in the, in the future. But anyway, so back to my story. So we're on his, we're at his parent, their parents' house. It was my neighbor. Our backyard's touched. We were on the, the porch outside. We had... We all we had, we had a couple of different Ouija boards, so we had two Ouija boards out on on the table. It was a a glass table on the porch, two Ouija boards side by side. The older brother, um, now we all had our different talents. The older brother, his talent was to be able to um, um, see the letters on the Ouija board in his mind light up so he could like instead of using the oracle to move it around he could actually see the letters and he and see the words that were being uh, um, said and there was a, a spirit that he was uh, uh, connecting with that would talk to him in that manner fairly regularly okay so so he tells me he said now let me wait before I before I get to it so we're out on the porch and we had the Ouija boards out and we were getting ready to kind of like do some Ouija board stuff and, and communicate with other beings. He's like, hey, 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 hold on. Look, look, look. He points. I guess they were saying, you know, they're, they're, they were going to do something. He's like, watch, watch. They're going to do something. So I watch. About five seconds goes by. And all of a sudden, now this is, this, I have never seen anything like this. Up until that point, three green circles just appeared. Well, now imagine the two Ouija boards are like one big Ouija board. Okay, so three green circles appeared. They were of slightly different sizes, and they were not perfectly round, but mostly round. And they just were there. Just like it's like someone it's like three different size flashlights got turned on all at once. Boop. And then they disappeared and re and then they, they they didn't all disappear together. They in different rates were they would disappear and then reappear somewhere else on one of the two Ouija boards. Like <whistles> swear to God. I would never lie to you guys. And I also, and this is important, would never exaggerate on purpose. I want to make sure. I'm explaining exactly what I what I saw, what I perceived, and, I, and I, I'm not going to lead you guys down the wrong path when it comes to honesty and integrity and transparency. It's very important to me. Okay, so yes, three different green circles, and they were disappearing and reappearing on these Ouija boards. Now I remember thinking to myself, 
I'm going to put my hand like an inch over the Ouija board so I can create a shadow. My own personal experiment. I want to see what would happen. So I did. So I put my hand over I got an itch, over the, the, the green circles right above the board. And I'm looking. There's no shadow. It's almost like the light was coming from underneath the freaking table. No shadow whatsoever. And then I had the intuition to my and they got the thought in my my head. Someday in the future, many times in the future, I'll be able to share this story and I'll be able to add that detail because there's going to be people who said, "Well, why didn't you see if there was like some light source from above?" Now, trust me, the, the, we were not. There was no like manipulation. They did not have the, the 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 resources to like set something up to like create that illusion. No, that shit was real, absolutely real. But yes. Um, so yeah, and then after, and then, and then after about a minute to a minute and a half, it was really hard to tell how long it was happening, but it felt like a minute to a minute and a half. They, uh, my, my friends, you know, who could read the board really good. So they wanted to show me that. So that's what happened. It was one of the more interesting experiences I've had when it comes to seeing ghosts, but yes, that's how it happened. All right, guys, I'll see you again.